Hello grade 10. Today we're going to start with the second part of the chapter 5 which is separation of solutions starting from a solid solute and the objectives of our session to prepare a solution starting from a solid solute, list the materials used and write the procedure of the separation. But first before starting let's say if I gave each of you or I ask each of you to prepare his own cup of coffee using instant coffee as a solute of course and uh, hot water as a solvent so you're going to prepare a solution would all the cups have the same concentration of course not because each one of you will prepare his own cup according to his desire and the amount of solute added of course the to the amount of solvent in each cup is different thus we have different concentration this means to prep this means to prepare a solution of an exact concentration we should follow a standard procedure okay so just let's start by an example and see what's this standard procedure the example says prepare a solution S of concentration C 0.5 mol per liter and volume V equal 100 milliliters starting from a solid uh, sodium chloride NaCl of molar mass 58.5 gram per mol. Let's highlight what is given. We have the concentration, we have the volume and the molar mass. And if we want to prepare, this is an aqueous solution because the name of the aqueous, we said it's, it's starting from a solid sodium uh, chloride and we didn't say this, the, 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 the solvent, so it's an aqueous solution. Okay, so first of all, what, you, what should you do? In order to dissolve, uh, uh, dissolve this the, the sodium chloride in water, it, we should know its, what, its mass. Say, what do we know? What do we have? We have concentration and volume. And we know that N equal C times V. So first of all, we want to calculate the mass. How do we calculate the mass? By first, we calculate the number of moles, which is C times V, 0 0.5 times 100 times 10 power minus 3, which equals to 0 0.05 mol. And we have the molar mass, so the mass equal n times molar mass which equals to 0 0.05 times 58.5 equals to 2.925 grams of what of NaCl so to, uh, to prepare the solution of NaCl we should dissolve 2.925 grams of this solute in 100 milliliters of water but how do we start and how do we do this? First of all, we should know the material. What are the materials needed? The first thing we should use a balance in order to weigh the uh, amount of solute. We will use a watch glass to weigh on, a spatula to take uh, the uh, the NaCl from the commercial uh, bottle. We need a funnel and finally the volumetric flask of 100 milliliters. Why, uh, why of 100 milliliters? Because we need the, vo we, the volume of the solution is 100 milliliters. So always we choose the volume of the volumetric flask. The capacity of the volumetric flask is equal to the volume of the solution. Okay, so what do we do first? First of all, we place what? We place the watch glass on the balance and calibrate it. What does calibration mean? Calibration, you click on this button, which is there. This means that the balance will not measure the ba mass of the watch glass. So when you start putting the solute here, it will not measure the, uh, the, the mass of the solute. It will consider only we have, the, uh, sorry, well, it will not measure the mass of the watch glass. It will consider that we are putting the uh, the solute on the balance directly without having the watch glass. Okay, so using a spatula, we will take uh, we will take from the commercial bottle 
of sodium chloride and weigh exactly 2.92 grams of this uh, solvent. After that, what do we do? Then we will use a uh, we will transfer, first of all, we will use a funnel to transfer the, uh, the, the solids into a volumetric flask containing water. So we will first transfer this solute to the funnel, and the funnel is inside the volumetric flask of 100 milliliters we said that has a few milliliters of distilled water we should use distilled water in preparing solutions distilled water means that water is without ions okay so after that we use a wash bottle this is the wash bottle and we rinse the funnel and the wash glass to uh, take off all extra solutes that have uh, if, the, if we have on the on the wash glass okay so we will rinse them after that we will add you know, all the water that is added the distilled water will go down to the volumetric flask after that we add uh, we f uh, when we add water, we don't add it to till uh, yani we fill it, we fill half of it, and we start shaking the uh, volumetric flask to dissolve complete to dissolve it completely. Tag. How do we dissolve it? Uh, how, how do we shake it? So first of all, we should dissolve it completely. This means that we don't have any uh, shown solids that w yani the solid will disappear after shaking okay and it will be completely dissolved Tab, how do we uh, how do we dissolve uh, how do we shake it this is a video that will show you how do we shake the uh, volumetric flask first of all we should you we should close we should seal the volumetric flask using a stopper minsakira okay and we, st uh, we start turning the flask upside down and holding the, pr uh, the stopper. Yani we hold the stopper with one hand and we start what? Turning the flask upside down and this is how we shake. Okay, see we, we'll, we see here if we have still uh, some solutes, we start, we repeat this procedure until the solid solute is dissolved and it disappears we don't have any solutes after that when complete when it is completely dissolved we add we finally add distilled water till the line mark so what is the line mark the line mark is at a line that is on the in the volumetric flask that is the maximum amount of volume yani here when we add water or any liquid till the line mark this means that it is added 100 milliliters yani 100 milliliters are added here okay Type. how do we read this line mark or to know this that yani to know where is the line mark exactly compared with our liquid as you can see here we have the R the R level should be on the meniscus what is the meniscus meniscus is the uh, lowest point of the surface of the liquid okay so the line mark uh, the line mark should be directly below the meniscus of the liquid okay of the solution so after that finally we get a solution of course, before that, when we add to the line mark, we shake it well to homogenize the solution. And finally, we get this solution, which is solution S of concentration 0 0.5 mol per liter and V equal 100 milliliters. So to summarize the procedure, first of all, by means of a digital balance, a spatula and a watch glass weigh 2.92 grams of NaCl solid. We have transferred the solid through a funnel in a volumetric flask 100 milliliters filled with a few milliliters of water. 
by means of wash of a wash bottle, rinse the funnel and the watch glass with with distilled water. Shake well to homogenize uh, out to to dissolve the solids completely. Add distilled water, thin the line mark, and finally shake well to homogenize the solution. This is a standard procedure in preparing aqueous solutions starting from a solid solute. But here pay attention, you know, every time you should uh, mention the, uh, the, uh, the mass of the solute that you're using, the name of the solute that, is that you are using, and the, uh, the capacity of the uh, volumetric flask, okay? For example, you have to prepare a solution in, uh, in 500 milliliters, uh, in 500 milliliters, so instead of writing 100, you write 500 milliliters volumetric flask, okay? So by this, we ended our session today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and goodbye.